Thyroid disorders affect an estimated 27 million Americans. Eight out of 10 are women. Many go undiagnosed for years. During this National Thyroid Awareness Month, what you should know about symptoms and treatment options. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports. All right, swallow one more time. Good. Dr. Jason Hollander is palpating this patient's neck, looking for lumps, bumps, or any other signs of thyroid troubles. These disorders are very, very common. So I think that a physical exam um, uh, yearly is a reasonable um, is a reasonable thing that should occur. The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland at the base of the neck that plays a vital role in controlling the body's metabolism. Dr. Hollander, who's an endocrinologist at Princeton Healthcare System, says when the thyroid is out of whack, it produces all kinds of symptoms. Typical signs of underactive thyroid are fatigue, um, gaining weight, feeling cold all the time, maybe some swelling. A goiter or lump in the neck is often associated with Graves' disease, which is caused by an overactive thyroid. Symptoms include accelerated heart rate, insomnia and sweating, as well as brittle nails and hair loss. An ultrasound device like this is used to diagnose all types of thyroid conditions, including cancer. And the surgery went okay? Yep. Yeah, you're feeling nicely, right? 36-year-old Denise Guthrie was diagnosed with thyroid cancer last month after complaining about fatigue and difficulty swallowing. I assumed that the trouble I had swallowing was an esophageal hernia and I never went to a doctor to have it looked at or I never pursued it. Denise is recovering from surgery to remove her thyroid. Treatment with radioactive iodine is next. This is iodine. Um, it, it's one pill one time um, that's taken. She'll also have to take a pill called Synthroid to replace the hormones lost when her thyroid was removed. But Dr. Hollander says it's a small price to pay. In general, the survival at 10 years is going to be close to 100 percent. And for women like Denise Guthrie, that's a comforting prognosis. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Princeton.